Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Kelly. Hi, if you're new, today I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys a DIY phone charm. My phone currently doesn't have one, but I used to have one. I will put a picture over here, and it was seriously so cute, but when I made that, a lot of you guys asked for a DIY. So I'm going to try my best to share a tutorial on how to do this, and also share the supplies that you need. In case you guys are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified the next time I upload my newest video. I'm currently doing daily videos until Valentine's Day, so you won't want to miss out. I I also have a second channel where I make bracelets and share the behind the scenes of my small business over on Etsy. I will put that link down below in the description box in case you guys want to see more videos similar to this. But I hope you guys enjoy it and we're just going to get started with what you need. Alright, you guys are going to need some scissors. These are just some of my favorite little kid scissors. They work great. And then I do have a whole drawer. Again, I have a small business with making bracelets, but you're going to need some beads. And these are pony beads. I have them in my Amazon storefront in case you guys want to shop them. You're going to need some elastic as well. This is from Walmart. It's the brand Go Create, and I also have some special beads. But since I knew I was filming this video, I pulled out a bunch of beads and I put them in this pretty container that I want to use for my bracelet. So I have all of my beads picked out. So you're going to need beads, scissors, and elastic. And of course, a phone that has a little hole like this one so we can loop the phone charm through. I do have this tray that I like to use when making bracelets and stuff like this so I'm going to pull it out. It came with some Go Create beads. There's the label and they used to sell them like this but now they latch on so this is just seven inches across. I'm not sure if that's going to be relevant with the phone charm but I always like to put my elastic on the side and I'm going to dump all of these beads out. These are all of the beads that I want to put on my charm. I have a lot of pink and hearts and pastels and the letters do spell out Kelster. So I'm going to rearrange them and put them in the order that I want them to be in. So they're finally all sorted. I spelled out Kelster. I have some stars, some hearts, some white hearts, colorful bigger hearts, some pink beads, and some smiley face beads. And now we are going to use the elastic. Just like in my bead videos, I like to keep it attached. I don't like cutting it until I'm done, but I find that that's the easiest. And I'm going to show you guys the steps on how to get it so it loops through your phone as well. But first off, we're going to set this next to it and start beading it. And you just kind of keep this close but you don't want to pull off too much string until you get there. We don't want to cut it because then they fall off the other side. And personally, I think that's just what works best for me. So I'm at a stopping point right now. I didn't use all of the beads, but it is about 11 inches long and I love how cute it looks. I try my best to put, if I'm putting words in the middle, in the middle. So it's just kind of gauging it out. So I'll go to here, put my name or whatever I'm spelling out and then kind of flip the pattern onto this side. As you guys can tell, it's still attached. So I'm gonna share with you guys how to do this in the best way possible. It's kind of hard since the string's clear, so bear with me. So we have the string like this and 
and it's gonna go like this and it's still attached as you guys can tell but so this is what the charm is gonna look like and you're gonna want all of this extra string so in case you make an accident or anything so I'm gonna cut the string right there okay so now it looks like this we are gonna tie a few four knots and that's all I can reference them as so you kind of I hope this is visible go like this and loop it through like that I'm gonna do that twice and pull it down like this I'm gonna do it twice so a repeat of that and kind of pull it down and then we're gonna do a few of these kind of knots I don't really know the terminology so bear with me and that way it stays together right there again I'm gonna do it one more time just to pull the knot in one big knot like that and that's going to be the foam charm i think it's super cute i love it all right so this next step is a little hard we have the foam charm and this extra string and i'm going to like double it down like this because this is how we're going to tie it onto our phone and that's why i cut off a little bit more and we're going to get the knot right here so i'm just going to do a big like loop knot and try and get it in the same spot so we're going to go under there we go so you have to go underneath the foam charm and through here and that's gonna make it into a knot okay so then we're just gonna tie a knot with the two left and make it a loop so you're gonna take this loop and the string left and tie it and make that four knot again just like that so it's kind of a big knot but these pony beads are big enough to cover it and then we're gonna slide this through the phone and this it can get cut off So there's our little loop, here's our phone charm, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get it on to your phone. I find it the most helpful if you take your phone out of the case, so that's what we're gonna do. Just like this, and then this is the loop. So you're gonna wanna hold the phone charm on the outside of it. So you're gonna thread this through here, like that. And you're gonna have this loop. And you're going to feed the phone charm through the loop. So the bigger the loop, the easier it is. And it ties a little loop around there, and that's it. Isn't that so cool? Then you can put your phone back in here. I love it. I just feel like it adds so much to it. I have my best day ever shirt. I feel like it's fitting. So this is how the phone charm turned out. It's seriously so stinking cute. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I'm sorry the knot process can get a little confusing. I probably need to learn a little bit on how to explain it a little bit better, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like making bead bracelets or if you have a phone charm on your phone. I'd love to chit chat and I do read and respond back to every single comment and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow with my next daily video. Bye guys!